Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Malta networking event series here in Berlin. The past two days, we have already held various panels for various sectors of business in Malta. My name is Mila Davila, I'm your moderator for this event, and I'm very glad you all joined us today at the capital representation of the Deutsche Telekom Corporation for the sixth and last but not least event on doing business in Malta. Yeah, the focus on this panel is on general financial services for the corporate sector and as you probably already know, it is targeted at directors, CEOs and CFOs of public listed companies. Therefore, we have a high-ranking business delegation on site that will give an enlightening insight on business conditions in Malta for foreign businesses. And first of all, please welcome with me the delegation leader, His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic in Malta in Germany, Mr. Schurep. And before I pass the word on to the Ambassador, let me just say a few words on our program today. Mr. Camilleri, Dr. Tonner, Mr. Valencia, Mr. Booker will hold a panel followed by a panel discussion. After the panel discussion, you'll be free to do some networking, meet the delegates personally, and speak with them at the get-together at the end of this event. And with that, I'll hand it over to His Excellency, the Ambassador. I just want to welcome you. I want to pass it back to Mila and Mila can then, we can actually start talking about Walter and why it's an interesting proposition for you. So thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And now I'll turn things over to Mr. Camilleri, who's going to tell us what he does at Malta Enterprise. We do take care roughly of three things. Promote uh, investment into Malta, to encourage Maltese companies to internationalize, to innovate, the third is also to assist our local enterprise to, to grow um, and to establish new markets. May I ask you a question? From your personal experience, what do you see as some of Malta's strengths in the areas of uh, financial services? We, we speak English. English is an official language, so it's easy to do business. It's easier to do business in Malta. And also, as well, the I think the quality of the lifestyle, which we enjoy. Um, uh, while at the same time, we have a British way, kind of uh, more of an Anglo-Saxon way, of, of doing business. Malcolm, what are your thoughts to that? We are optimistic, we are positive about it because we think that Malta has, for reasons that we've been talking about, the right, the right attributes. It is true that Malta works, Malta really does work. Germany has supplied Malta with two or three of the largest captives uh, that have been set up in, in, in the last few years, one of them being Munich Re, Another one being BMW, and Lufthansa, I think, as well, has set up another captive itself. If a company is eligible, and it's not always eligible, but in situations where it is eligible for tax refunds, tax refunds in Malta work, and they work on time. Kevin, maybe you can give us a general insight into the uh, double taxation system, just a general. Um, well, we do have one or two very good ones. For example, with Sweden, it's really good. Canada, it, it is, um, um, it's really good as well. Australia. One of the advantages about being a small place is that it's easy to um, put all the, all the jigsaw pieces into each other and, and, and um, get them to work. And, and Malta is very good at doing that. So um, there's a plan. At least we know what we want to do. Thank you very we much. Have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> Alan, um, what in your view needs to be improved in Malta? One of the areas which we definitely need to develop more, um, but there's now a plan for it, is, is uh, the environment and environmental, the clean technology. So at the moment um, there is a project to link Malta to the, to the European grid so that we can also have um, and purchase electricity from other countries through the European grid. And the third is to promote the use um, uh, of, uh, or rather to, to promote the generation of clean energy from clean sources. The Middle East has invested a lot in Malta. We've had companies from Dubai buying up our telecoms company, for example, and developing uh, real estate uh, development in, in, in the island. So I see that there are a lot of prospects for new horizons. I don't know. How many of you have been to Malta? Because, you know, whoever hasn't come, just come, and I'm, I'm sure you'll love it. Um, also because it's very different. 
I've lived many years of my life away. I've lived in the UK, I've lived in Italy, I've lived in China, which I'm going to say something about now because I know that China is very important to Germany. And I find that it's always very attractive. The place is different. And Malta is very different from Germany and you'll like it very much. Kevin said something about DTAs and he said something about BRICS and about, about, about China. And I spent four years in China as ambassador to, to China. And one of the things I noticed is that Germany is without a doubt the preferred European partner of the Chinese. If, is there any other topic you, the delegates would like to talk about? Have you seen Munich? We haven't seen the film Munich? Gladiator? Yeah. Gladiator? Gladiator? Yeah. Troy? Troy? Troya. Troya? Mm -hmm. Agora? You need to go to the uh, cinema. Count? <laughs> Count of Monte Cristo? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me tell you something. Asterisk and obelisk. Oh. Ah, good. Yeah. All, of those, all of those are produced in Malta. You just gave a nice closing word, and that was an interesting detail as well. Does any of you have uh, questions? No more questions. Okay, then I'd say let's close the panel discussion. It's been animated, it's been lively. I'd like to thank our delegation, His Excellency, all referendees, all attendees, and uh, you will now have the chance to do some networking right here with our delegates. I hope you enjoyed our networking event and we wish you the best of success with doing business in Malta. Thank you.